Starting off this countdown, we have the family vacation. Like I said before, some will believe that an artist named Trevor Henderson created this towering monster back in 2018, but others believe he's been around since the 1960s. Once Trevor posted his creation to his Twitter in 2018, numerous people came forward saying that they had seen him and shared photos and their stories on Siren Head. One story that was shared was from a family. Back in 1966, this family was on vacation in Arizona. The family was doing some typical tourist stuff and explored the desert, which then led them to an old cemetery. They stopped a picture of the cemetery, but when they developed the pictures later, they saw this monster standing there between some gravestones. Now, I wish I had proof of this image. But apparently it got lost since they didn't have internet back then, so clearly they couldn't have just uploaded it online. Moving on to number nine, we have the car chase. This video was uploaded by YouTube in May of 2020 on the channel Alex Howard. This user claims that on May 13th, 2020, Siren Head was caught in California. In the video, a car is driving down a winding road lined with trees on both sides. Then suddenly, Siren Head emerges and is seen towering over a telephone pole. In the background, you can hear the sounds of wailing sirens. The car continues to drive away and Siren Head just stands there watching him. It's a pretty creepy video. But of course, people are quick to assume it's fake, although the YouTuber never said if it is or isn't. Maybe it is fake. Like, come on, Siren Head wouldn't let you get away that easy. That guy would have chased down the car and then killed the driver. Moving on at number eight, we have the bombing sirens. Siren Head loves to torture its victims by scaring them with different sounds that he can broadcast from his Siren Head. And that's exactly what he's been doing to the citizens of Belgrade, Serbia. This recording was captured on March 28th, 1999. On that day, over a hundred residents suffered from severe hearing loss. So one resident said that at first they thought that their country was facing an attack, since sirens went off warning of a bombing. But they were confused once no bombs or jets were heard. The audio from this day captured the sounds of sirens and then a voice creepily saying hello over and over again. To make things worse, one person reported seeing what looked like an out of place lamp post on a hill near a graveyard. It was spotted about 10 minutes before all the sounds began. In our seventh spot, we have Daddy Long Arms. <laughs> Got it, daddy long legs, daddy long arms. Imagine going out for a late night stroll only to look back and see Siren Head stalking you. That would be terrifying. This is apparently what happened to the person that took this photo. First off, since when are Siren Head's arms that long? Like, yeah, I knew they were long, but that long? Like the dude scraping the floor with his fingernails. Also, he's looking kind of short in this one. Maybe he's just like a siren head baby. Like, come on, the inconsistencies in height are freaky because it could quite possibly mean that there are tons of siren heads out there, all in different shapes and sizes. But we are inclusive on this channel. We love all people or creatures, regardless of their body shape. Moving on at number six, we have the weird sounds. So this was posted by the user georgeorbanks321 on Reddit. Love that name. Their post was titled, Help Me Identify These Weird Sounds in the Mountains. Story goes that he was hiking to a Bighorn Mine one morning when he started to hear some weird noises. He took a video of the sounds for proof and uploaded it asking for help identifying the noises. Now I listened to this audio and it's quite strange. It sounds like high-pitched squeaks coming from the distance, or he describes it as the sound of metal detector beeps. Someone commented saying that it may be from some kind of machinery, like someone was doing construction nearby. But the user said that it was coming from a ravine that was too steep to walk to, and it was covered all by tall bushes. So there's no way that someone was doing construction there. But it literally does sound like Siren Head blasting some sort of weird squeal to confuse its prey. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the quest for Siren Head. So YouTuber Jay Hills has multiple videos dedicated to finding and documenting Siren Head. In one of his videos, he is walking through the forest using a GoPro to see if he can capture Siren Head. About halfway through his mission, he feels uneasy and starts hearing weird noises like sirens. 
Now, he thought that this whole video was a fail, until he got home and was reviewing footage from that day. When doing so, he realized that he actually caught Siren Head on tape. Now, there is an ongoing debate in the comments. Some say it's clearly fake. I mean, yeah, it looks that way. But there are others that are convinced that it's real and undoctored. Making our way down the list of number four, we have the disappearance. On May 9th, 2020, Trevor Henderson tweeted out an image without a caption. The image was a bunch of accounts of supposed siren head sightings all across Pennsylvania, like the case of Catherine Hubins. Back in 1978, nine-year-old Catherine went missing from her home after hearing strange noises coming from the woods across from her family's backyard. Her sister Abby told the police that her and Catherine heard their mother calling to them from the trees. But she said something was wrong about this. Her voice was a little off and all echoey. But either way, Catherine wandered into the forest and was never seen again. In our third spot, we have the announcement. Siren Head has been recorded again. This recording was captured on August 28th, 2018 in Ware, Austria between 324 and 326 AM. During this time, nearby residents heard what they described as a man talking through a megaphone in the forested areas of the town. In the morning when police explored the area, they found an abandoned tent with two wallets inside. The wallets were found to belong to Joaquin Muller and Bruno Koffler. Both these residents have since been reported missing. It's believed that Siren Head has something to do with the disappearance of these men. When reviewing nearby footage, police found what appears to be the recorded audio from that night. If you listen to it, you hear normal nature sounds like owls hooing and crickets chirping. But then you also hear a man say something that sounds like, guys, guys, someone's here. The voice sounds as if it was being broadcasted through a megaphone, or sirens. In our second spot, we have the 1900s. Like I've mentioned before, Siren Head has apparently been around for much longer than we realized. And this next photo proves it. So this next individual was going through their city's archives when they came across an old black and white photo from the 1900s. And lo and behold, in the background of the photo is Siren Head. And might I add, he's pretty photogenic, like he's looking pretty good. But also, that's pretty creepy. Look at him just standing there. I bet he thought that he was doing a good job camouflaging in with those trees. Nope, we can see you loud and clear, buddy. Nice try. And in our number one spot, we have the storm monster. Now, what's freaky is that the story that I just told you happened to another person in a different area, but this time they actually caught it on tape. So again, about one month ago, Space Kitten underscore 420 on Reddit was watching a storm and spotted something that looked like sirens over her neighbor's house. You can see the neighbor's chimney, and then right above the chimney when the lightning strikes, you can see what appears to be sirens. It's actually a pretty creepy video, and it for sure looks like Siren Head. Starting off this countdown, we have the ancient drawings. One thing that's creepy is that before Trevor Henderson created this creature in 2018, apparently people have found ancient rock paintings depicting this creature from way back before then, proving that he dates back way before the artist even created him. These images can be found all over North America, meaning that there are more siren heads than we thought, or he just likes to travel around. The drawings depict an ancient tribe killing off a siren head, or at least trying to. Prehistorically, only significant things were drawn onto rock. And yeah, I'd say siren head is pretty significant. This means that siren heads threatened human life way before we thought. Coming in at number nine, we have the tornado warning. Of course, the most frequently captured sound of siren head is that of him broadcasting tornado warning sirens. Well, this sound was captured again on June 20th, 2010 in Chicago, Illinois. Citizens were concerned when the sirens were heard for hours, but they weren't under a tornado warning. The Chicago Police Department was eventually called to the scene where the sound was originating from, which was from the direction of Willow Springs Woods. But when the police arrived, the sounds had stopped, and nothing was found in the wooded area. So Siren Head is playing games with the popo. Coming in at number eight, we have the vacation. So back in the day when going on a vacation was a thing and not a death wish, 
A group of travelers claim they might have seen Siren Head from their airplane. So they were preparing for their descent, admiring the beautiful landscape below them when they saw something shifting in the trees. At first they thought maybe it was just the breeze. But it was odd because it was only a section of trees that seemed to be moving violently. That's when all of a sudden they saw a branch like arm reach up and snatch a bird off of a limb from the tree. Now, they were high up in the air, so they don't know if it was maybe just a branch swinging in the wind or something else, but they could have sworn that that branch looked like a veiny arm belonging to none other than Siren Head. In our seventh spot, we have the Siren Head Experience. Posted on Reddit by the user IsaiahNinja909YT, they shared the time they encountered Siren Head. So he starts off by explaining that he lives near the woods, aka Siren Head's favorite place to lurk. One day he heard tornado sirens going off, so he grabbed his dog and headed downstairs. But as he was gathering some supplies, he noticed something outside of his window. Now the sounds of the sirens were getting louder and louder, so he ignored it and just headed to his basement. That's when it got super messed up. He swears that he heard the voice of his dead friend calling for him, but he shook it off thinking that he was just panicking because of the tornado. He decided to check his phone and that's when he realized he wasn't even under tornado warning. So he went back upstairs and looked out that window, but whatever he saw was gone. He then put all the pieces together and realized that that tall dark thing he saw was probably Siren Head. And then number six, we have the Haunted Forest. This next photo of Siren Head was taken up in cottage country. Credit goes to anonymous 999999. So this man was sitting on his porch when he heard branches cracking in the nearby distance. Thinking that someone was trespassing on his property, he called out to them, but he was greeted by an echo of his own voice. And then sounds of static. Now his phone's flashlight wasn't bright enough to see what was over there, so he decided to scare off whatever was there by his flash from his phone's camera. He started taking multiple photos of the area and this apparently works because whoever was there, or whatever was there, left the property. Upon reviewing the photos, that's when he came across this one. And you can clearly see Siren Head lurking in the trees. Again, with this photo, people have tried to debunk it, but it looks awfully real. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the lurking monster. This is another pretty creepy photo that claims to be a real photo of Siren Head. The photo was posted on Reddit five months ago by the user Radio Arsonist. The photo is taken from either a backyard or front driveway, I can't really tell, but you can see Siren Head lurking in the background hovering over some trees. I mean, He's not really stealthy. Even though it's dark out, you can still see his terrifying silhouette. Now the user doesn't say where this photo was taken, but you can tell that it's in a small community, aka Siren Head's favorite place to strike. Making our way down the list at number four, we have the Ranger. On May 9th, 2020, Trevor Henderson tweeted out an image without a caption. The image was a bunch of accounts of supposed Siren Head sightings all across Pennsylvania. I talked about some of them in my last video and now I'm going to talk about the rest. So in 1990, a ranger at the Kings Canyon National Park came across a man on one of the trails in the forest. Except this man was clinging onto a tree branch 20 feet up in the air. The ranger tries calling to him asking if he's alright and if he needs help getting down. But the man, who was never identified, didn't respond to any of the ranger's commands. Eventually, a rescue team came to retrieve the man from the tree. However, when they got up there, they discovered that the man was dead. His eardrums and eyes were found completely ruptured. Yep, that sounds like the workings of Siren Head, alright. Coming in at number three, we have the cottage trip. So this next individual was at his cottage up north in Canada, you know, relaxing, doing typical cottage things, swimming in the lake, fishing, you know. Well, he was on his dock one afternoon with his dog, when all of a sudden his dog started to whine like crazy. Shortly after, the guy got a massive headache. Obviously, something was bothering them both. No matter what he did, his dog wouldn't calm down. 
That's when he realized that someone was probably emitting a frequency so high pitched that the human ear couldn't detect it, but his dog could. They both went inside and he closed all the windows and doors and the dog calmed down. Upon researching what could have caused it, the guy stumbled upon Siren Head. Turns out that the day before, he saw a weird pole on his neighbor's lawn with sirens at the top of it. He thought maybe it was just like a new gadget they had. No. He put two and two together, it was Siren Head. In our second spot, we have the Stormy Night. This next story was posted on Reddit by the user Harry the Best 2. He labeled the post as I saw a siren head and I'm not joking. So if he's not joking, it has to be true, right? So one month ago on a stormy night, Harry was looking out his window watching the storm. That's when lightning illuminated something strange in the distance. He saw sirens, which he thought was odd because he has never seen them there before. Once he spotted them, the thunder got louder and he heard the sounds of the sirens. Every time the lightning struck, it looked as if the sirens were moving closer and closer to him. In the morning, the sirens were gone. So he's positive that what he saw was Siren Head. And in our number one spot, we have the Motel Monster. Now, this photo I'm about to show you is very creepy. Credits to this photo goes to user RK50. Story goes that a truck driver was staying over at a motel in a not so nice area. He said that even though the motel was pretty sketchy, it was the nicest one in this small town. On top of that, he was desperate for sleep after a long drive. However, in the middle of the night, he heard weird sounds coming from outside his window. When he looked, he caught Siren Head just lurking by the wooded area. He got a quick snap of him before he made a high-pitched sound and disappeared back into the woods. Now, people have attempted to debunk this photo, but they can't. Either their Photoshop skills are on point, or Siren Head is real. Starting off this countdown, we have the telephone poles. This photo was posted on Reddit by the user Acaciaism. They claim that they spotted two Siren Heads in California. Now, before you all jump down my throat, yes, those look like telephone poles. But true Siren Head fans would know that Siren Head can shapeshift into the form of telephone poles. Also, I've never seen a telephone pole that looks like that. I guess the ones in Canada are different? Or maybe it's because it's Siren Head. In our ninth spot, we have the drone footage. Remember when drones were all the rage? Are they still in? Do people still use those? Who knows? But one thing I know for sure is that they can be used to capture evidence of Siren Head. So this next individual claims that they were out flying their drone, having a good time, and everything was good. Until they reviewed the footage later that day. So the footage started off normal, the drone was flying over some trees, then all of a sudden the feed began to go all fuzzy. When it resumed, just at the corner of the screen, you could see something that looked exactly like Siren Head's speaker head. Maybe Siren Head's sound or frequencies somehow managed to interrupt the drone feed. But he wasn't too sly, because this dude still managed to catch a split second of him on video. Unfortunately, his drone broke shortly after, so the evidence is lost forever. I bet Siren Head broke that drone. Didn't capture his best angle or whatever. Coming in at number 8, we have the lurking Siren Head. So this photo was posted on Reddit by the user Milky Boy. 2006. He is truly convinced that Siren Head is real. No matter what people tell him, he is a true believer in Siren Head. And he claims that this photo he took proves his existence. So according to this user, he was out camping in Cumberland, BC when he noticed something off in the distance. He zoomed in with his camera and took a photo of it. He is convinced that he got photographic evidence of Siren Head. So if you look way in the distance, you can see the top of Siren Head's head lurking behind some trees. Now, one would assume that like, okay, maybe it's just part of a building or a windmill or something like that. But apparently the next day, that thing, whatever it was, was gone. And big structures like that don't just up and move overnight. Unless it was really Siren Head. In our seventh spot, we have the wildlife cam. Okay, this one is pretty creepy. So this video claims to be real life footage from a wildlife camera. Instead of it capturing deer or moose, the camera captured something more terrifying. Siren Head. 
So in the video, you can see Siren Head walking in the background. Now, it is a bit difficult to see because it's heavy fog, but if you concentrate, you can clearly see him in the background. Now, to add on to the creepy effect, wailing sirens can be heard in the background of the video. But people notice that it sounds identical to a video posted that captured Chicago tornado warning sirens. This has led people to believe that this video is fake, and then they use the audio from someone else's video. But you be the judge, I'll let you decide. In our sixth spot, we have Siren Head's sounds. In case you are curious about what Siren Head sounds like, which I don't know why you would be, his sounds can easily make your ears bleed and can explode your brain. But if you are curious, there are several videos out there that claim to be true recorded sounds from Siren Head. Now, I listened to the audio for you all and I'm still alive, so don't worry. But basically, this audio includes different sounds of sirens, whispers, and distorted voices. At one point, you can hear high-pitched screeches, which actually did hurt my ears because of the frequency of it. There are also sounds of an ice cream truck, which is disturbing because it's Siren Head's way to lure children to him. In another supposed recording, you can hear a very creepy and distorted voice talking. The voice says, this is the emergency broadcast system saying this is not a test, this is a national emergency. It's so creepy! Then there's static and you can hear some creepy singing. And then another voice says, this is the end of days, say goodbye to everyone, everything. So yeah, if you do choose to listen to this recording, be warned, it's pretty disturbing. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the sunny day. This next photo was posted on Reddit by the user Evan McMinecraft. He literally gave no context besides labeling the photo as a cool pic I took. And yeah, it's a pretty cool pic that he took. I mean, you got a cute little pond, super green grass, beautiful sunny skies, and Siren Head in the background. People began commenting like, dude, didn't you see you fully captured Siren Head in the background? Turns out the photographer was completely clueless that he captured this massive beast. I don't know how he could have missed it though, like that thing is literally towering over those trees in the background. But personally, I just want to know why the grass looks so dang green. Like, what fertilizer are you using? In our fourth spot, we have the forest. This next photo is pretty creepy. So it was posted on Reddit by the user the only one savage. Here's the thing, he posted it claiming Siren Head was in the photo, but no one could locate him. So he re-uploaded it several days later, this time with a red arrow pointing out Siren Head's location. The photo itself is beautifully creepy. Then you look in the background and you can see the thin outline of Siren Head's body. There he is just lurking behind some trees, waiting for his chance to jump out and snatch his next victim. This dude's lucky that he got away unharmed. It could have ended a lot worse. In our third spot, we have the foggy forest. Reddit user CDBlack123 posted this photo he caught of Siren Head 14 days ago. Now, this photo is pretty creepy, and Siren Head is pretty hard to spot. Take a second and look for him. Pause this video if you have to, and let me know in the comments below how long it took you to find him. I mean, it's not that hard, but still. All right, you see him yet? If you look on the left hand side of the photo, you can see the silhouette of Siren Head behind the trees. The fog does help camouflage him in better, but this photo shows you just how massive this creature is. In our second thought, we have the disappearances. So this is another encounter with Siren Head from back in the day. In 1986, people kept going into the Himalayan mountains, but they never returned. They had a bunch of people disappearing without a trace. Now, police were sent to investigate, but when they got there, they heard an extremely loud ringing sound. It got so powerful that it caused some people to lose their hearing altogether, while others had ear and brain damage. They fled the mountain immediately and were never able to find the missing people. Now, they don't know what to think of this, but others believe that that's one of Siren Head's homes and he feasts on tourists or lost hikers. And in our number one spot, we have the disappearing monster. Posted on Reddit two months ago by the user Lamps underscore underscore, they claim that they got a real photo of Siren Head. So, story goes that they were out taking pictures in their backyard. They didn't notice anything odd until they were reviewing the photos. I swear that's how it always works. That's when they saw what appears to be Siren Head lurking in the distance. They went back out to see if he was still there and took more photos. However, Siren Head was gone. 
So if you see in the circle part, that clearly looks like Siren Head's speaker head. So here's the thing, if this isn't Siren Head, what is it? Could it be just a tree that happened to be in the shape of Siren Head? Well, that's what people originally thought. But the user went back to the same spot and took another photo. The thing was no longer there. So unless he went out and chopped down a bunch of branches, that's a photo of Siren Head. Starting off this countdown, we have City Siren Head. This photo was actually sent in by a fan of ours, Adam Blinov. I'm so sorry, I hope I pronounced your name right. And his son. So thank you so much for this one. And if you have any Siren Head settings of your own, you can always send them to me on Instagram or to Most Amazing. So let's take a look at this photo. It's a nice photo of Toronto. You got people out playing at the park, beautiful trees, clear skies, and what's that siren head? Look at that dude. Thankfully, he's not taller than the CN Tower or else I would have been more worried. And the fact that he's in Toronto worries me. I thought I was safe living here. Come on, siren head, go home, get out of the city. Also, imagine being a worker at one of those buildings and looking over to see siren head just like looking in like, hey. No, that'd be terrifying. I'd call in sick for the rest of the month. In our ninth spot, we have the Lakeside Siren Head. This photo of Siren Head was taken up in cottage country. In the photo, you can clearly see Siren Head on a cottage dock by the water. Maybe he just wanted to take a dip in the water, you know? Maybe a little late night skinny dip. Or maybe he was preparing to attack and kill the cottage goers. In the background of the photo, there appears to be a cell tower, or maybe it's another siren head. Siren heads have been known to be able to shape shift into telephone poles or street lights. Who's to say he can't transform to look like a cell tower too? In this case, this dude captured a photo of baby siren head and mama siren head. I wouldn't mess with either of them. Taking our way down the list at number eight, we have the abandoned phone. This photo of Siren Head was apparently taken in 2016. It was found on a cell phone in a wooden area. They don't know what happened to the cell phone's owner, but when they went through the photo album, they came across this terrifying image. So it's safe to say that Siren Head most likely captured and killed the phone's owner. Moving on to number seven, we have the city sighting. So it's said that siren heads mainly reside in forests or rural areas. In fact, most depictions of siren head are of him in the forest lurking behind some trees. They prefer a forest because it's easy for them to blend in with their surroundings. Then they just wait until a local hiker gets lost or until the coast is clear for them to leave and then invade the small town. But recently, images of siren heads in big cities have began to surface online, such as this image for example. This image was posted by Reddit user waff underscore xs just over a month ago. It was captioned as siren head in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The photo is pretty grainy, but you can clearly see the silhouette of siren head lurking beside some tall buildings. One thing that gets me is that Siren Head's height is always inconsistent. They are said to be around 40 feet tall, but some pictures of him make him only the size of a large tree, whereas like in this case, he is the size of a tall building. Either way, it seems like Siren Head may be terrorizing cities now as well, meaning that no one is safe. Making our way down the list at number six, we have the local news. Hate to break it to any of my Scottish viewers, but Siren Head has yet again been spotted in Scotland. Clearly, Siren Head likes the water because he was captured by the seaside again. Well, this next photo was apparently posted in the small town's newspaper. It was warning citizens of a possible real siren head on the loose in their area. Not only that, but residents have reported hearing sounds of sirens and distorted voices playing in that area. That is really creepy and pretty recent also, so be careful because Siren Head is hungry and looking for a snack. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with the campers. So if you want to possibly run into Siren Head for whatever reason, maybe you're a paranormal researcher or maybe you have a death wish, I don't know, but if you want to see him, all you have to do is go camping. Yep, you heard me. Grab a friend or go alone if you really wanna die. Head out to a secluded wooded area and stay the night. Because after doing these videos, I've realized that tons of people have spotted Siren Head while camping, including this next individual. So story goes that a guy and his friend were out camping for the long weekend. However, in the middle of the night, they felt the ground shake beneath them, which woke them up. That's when they started hearing a tornado warning siren. 
panicked that a tornado was coming their way, they began to pack up camp. That's when the siren stopped. The sound was replaced by a creepy sound of a little girl giggling. Thinking that someone was messing with them, they told them to, you know, get out of there. But obviously, they said it in a different manner, involving several profanities. So, whatever, they went back to sleep. The next morning, when they woke up, they had a massive headache. They also noticed that they were in a different section in the woods, as if while they were sleeping, someone dragged their tent to a different area. That is creepy. To this day, they think that Siren Head was playing mind games with them. Moving on to number four, we have the babysitter. So, one night, this girl was called over to her neighbor's house to babysit their young kids for the night. Now these kids were huge fans of Siren Head, so to appease them, she played some Siren Head themed games with them. But as it started to get darker outside, the babysitter started to feel off. She just felt like something was watching her. She then put the kids to bed and went downstairs to watch TV. This literally sounds like a scene from a horror movie. Around 9 o'clock, weird things started happening. First, the TV started to go all staticky and lost its signal. Then she heard thudding and weird noises coming from outside the house. She described the sounds as muffled talking over a megaphone. So she's convinced that she somehow summoned Siren Head while playing those games. In our third spot, we have the close encounter. This story was posted on Reddit by the user Ubisoft is awful. The story goes that the narrator and their group of friends visited a forest in their area. But while wandering the forest, one of their friends, Jake, heard something. He turned to his friends and asked them if they heard it as well. The narrator just thought that his friend was being paranoid, but his other friend Caleb also heard it as well. Then all of a sudden they hear what sounded like a tornado siren. The siren got increasingly louder until it started hurting their ears. That's when they saw Siren Head emerge from the trees. They managed to run and hide in a nearby cabin until he left. He claims that no one believes him. And I mean, why should they? But maybe he is telling the truth. Moving on to number two, we have the recorded audio. So in my last video, I talked about the Siren Head sightings in the Himalayan mountains. In 1986, people kept going into the Himalayan mountains, but they never returned. As a result, they had a bunch of people disappearing without a trace. Now, police were sent to investigate, but when they got there, they heard an extremely loud ringing sound. It got so powerful that it caused some people to lose their hearing altogether, while others had ear and brain damage. Later on, it was thought that this was the sound of Siren Head, and he was the reason why people were going missing. Now a transcript has emerged from this encounter. The actual audio is out there somewhere, but it's said to be too disturbing to listen to. So in the transcript, one troop says, Alpha, lead the way to the entity. It is some 30 kilometers from you. The other troop responds with, Okay, you heard the command, come on. Then out of nowhere, you hear cries of pain before all the microphones burst. That's when the recording stops. Like I said before, you can try and look for the audio, but I don't recommend it. And in our number one spot, we have the Snapchat. This sighting was posted on Reddit by the user Krulos. It all started two months ago when he received a photo from his cousin at around 1 p.m. His cousin lives in Iowa and he lives in Texas. Now, the photo was sent on Snapchat, and in the background, you can see a figure that looks like Siren Head. Of course, this dude did not believe his cousin. I mean, I wouldn't have either. But that's when he got on FaceTime with him and showed him from his porch that Siren Head was indeed in the distance. Now, I don't know about you, but you can't Photoshop on FaceTime. Unless that's a new added feature that I don't know about. On top of that, he also claims that at night he hears cop sirens. So this may be a legit sighting and this guy may need to move. Starting off this countdown, we have the graffiti Siren Head. Siren Head's influence can be seen all over the world. He literally has a devoted fan base. There's people out there dedicated to proving his existence which is kind of creepy. Well, in this photo, you can see Siren Head spray painted on a wall in some abandoned building. Now, if someone is out there spray painting him, that just proves how big his influence is. Now, what's creepy? 
creepy about this photo is the backstory. Apparently, right after this photo was taken, this guy started to hear a faint echo in the building. He said, hello, who's there? And his voice just echoed right back to him. Creeped out, he decided to leave, but on his way out, he got a high-pitched ringing in his ears, as if someone was blasting some sort of a high-pitched frequency. He believes that he truly did encounter Siren Head. Maybe that graffiti was done to warn people that that building is Siren Head's lair. Moving on number nine, we have the hidden creature. For this sighting, we have the YouTuber Paranormal World recording himself as he walks through the forest searching for Siren Head. It shows five different times that he saw Siren Head. Now, the thing is, you can clearly tell that Siren Head is edited in. He even admits to it. But if you look carefully during this video, you can clearly see Siren Head in the background and it's not edited in. In fact, the YouTuber didn't even notice that he captured it on footage. It's pretty eerie. Sometimes it's hard to see and that's probably because Siren Head is using his stealth-like ability to blend in with the surrounding trees. But you can see Siren Head lurking in the background watching him. Coming in our eighth spot, we have the Night Adventure. Some people are Siren Head hunters. Much like the Bigfoot, they are determined to get this creature on film. As a result, there are countless videos on YouTube of people that purposely wander into creepy forests at night looking for him. Just like this next individual. This was uploaded to the YouTube channel Jojo Pastirson. They titled it Siren Head Sounds Located in Eastern Europe. It shows this YouTuber wandering around their town before stumbling upon Siren Head. But we never see him. We can only ever hear him. The video shows the YouTuber lurking around buildings and repeatedly checking out street lamps to make sure that it's not Siren Head in disguise. Using only a flashlight to light their way, they continue on looking for Siren Head. All we hear are the sounds of his screeching sirens and almost like a low growl or hissing. It's pretty creepy. In our seventh spot, we have the foggy afternoon. This photo was captured by the Reddit user Uncle Arky. He took a photo from his house located in the northeast area of Scotland. The photo captured the beautiful seaside on a foggy day. However, if you zoom into the background near the water, you can see the silhouettes of Siren Head. It's pretty creepy, especially because of all the fog surrounding him. But maybe Siren Head was just out taking a little dip, or he was taking his bath and you know what, you went and disturbed him. like. Give the poor guy some privacy. Making our way down the list, number six, we have the blur. This photo was posted on Reddit by the user Squish the Whale. Interesting name. Let's not squish whales. They posted this photo with the caption Possible Siren Head Sighting near Basingstoke, UK. Now, I don't know what to think of this photo. It's creepy because you can't tell what it is. On one hand, it looks like Siren Head, but then it also looks like some sort of pixie or something. Either way, it does not look friendly and it's not something I would ever want to encounter. Looks like this user got the photo of it quick, hence why the figure is blurry and in motion. But let me know what you think of this photo in the comments below. What do you think this creature looks like? It's like one of those ink blot tests. What does this look like to you? We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the sirens. One Reddit user created a post asking people in his area if they hear the sirens too, or if it's just all inside his head. So one day he was just chilling out when all of a sudden he started hearing weird sirens wailing in the background, followed by a ringing sound in his ears. Now the post does get a little weird because he says that he got into a car crash two years ago and ever since then everything's been off. Like he constantly hears these sirens and doesn't know why he's the only one that can hear them. Is it paranoia? Or is Siren Head really out there trying to get to him? In our fourth spot, we have the deadly encounter. This is probably the scariest encounter with Siren Head yet. So this video was posted on YouTube by the channel Golden Lane Studio, and they claim that they were hunted by Siren Head. So basically, after encountering Siren Head once already, his camera broke. But then they fixed it and went back to find the place where Siren Head was hanging around before. So it starts with the guy driving to the location and then he begins to hear white noise. Then Siren Head emerges from a forest area behind a house. His camera starts to glitch and he runs inside a random house. See, this already has people questioning the video because how come the house wasn't locked and no one was conveniently there? Anyways, then you see Siren Head walking by the house's window as this guy hides. 
The last thing we see is him getting attacked by a large hand. His camera drops and becomes all staticky and cuts out. So we never found out what happened to this guy but the video did still manage to get uploaded, so... In our third spot, we have the missing teenagers. From the same post from Trevor, there's a police report about four teenage friends who went camping in 1984. The friends went to Algany National Park in Pennsylvania on an overnight trip, meant to return home soon after. After not returning home, one of the parents of the missing teens, Simon Foster, reported them missing. But before a search party got on the way, Simon turned up at his home all frantic. When questioned, he claimed that there was something huge in the woods that attacked them. He never got a good look at it and didn't mention anything about siren sounds, but some other details made people believe that it might have been siren head. Sadly, none of Simon's friends were ever found. But in 1985, the shoe of one of the boys, David Work, was found after it fell from a tree and hit a passing hiker. This is pretty creepy because in the past, Siren Head's victims have been found hanging from high up branches in trees. In our second spot, we have the moving giant. So here is another supposed real life sighting of Siren Head posted by Trevor Henderson. In 1992, near New Hope, Pennsylvania, a drifter named Samantha Harp spotted, and I quote, something as tall as a telephone pole striding through the trees. She continued on by saying it was like one of the trees got up and started walking. The head was like a telephone pole with speakers hanging out of it. And as it passed by, it sang like an old song from the radio. Yep. Sounds like Siren Head. She's just lucky he didn't just scoop her up and eat her. And in our number one spot, we have the Washington Monument. Okay, so this next photo of Siren Head really tripped me out. In my opinion, it's the most realistic one out there. At first when I saw this image, I was like, oh, you know, that's a beautiful sunset. Then I noticed something odd in the background. Far, far in the background. Look carefully, right in the back, behind some trees in the horizon, is Siren Head. So Siren Head is just like me and you. He also likes sunsets. But seriously, it took me a while to spot him. Maybe it's just a street light, but it looks a lot like Siren Head to me.